What's up, Kim Foods? This is Kim Chi. And Tofu. Yeah. yeah! Vikings time! A lot of death this week or last week. Last week. In one week. week, actually. It's been a really, really big emotional roller coaster for me this week. I'm like running out of energy. Hopefully, it's the same thing that goes on in this episode where Thor comes back to life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Thor coming back to life. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, great. Bravo, Tofu. Also, Thorfinn's rage. I will kill you. Oh, Dude, yeah. Dude, that guy, man. The voice actor for that kid. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Oscars. Emmys. You deserve it all. That was a very, very fantastic scene. Guys, hang on to your axes. Hang on to your mugs. It's time for Villain Saga. <laughs> I'll lost their painkiller. <laughs> yeah. It is a good painkiller. What's Thorfinn? Still, oh, in still that there. Boat. He still oh, hasn't eaten. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at him. Is that salt water? I don't know. I don't think that's salt water. They're going to go see Floki now, right? Probably. Yeah. Oh no, this is just no. like a rest stop, pit stop. They just leave him there? Up. That strength and determination from him, though. This guy's been knocked out for a long time. Yeah, he has. And nobody saw him. There you go. There's finally water. Yeah. <laughs> stream. Fresh water. So that was he salt survived. water in the boat then, right? Yeah, because he couldn't drink it. <gasps> what the heck? Screaming? Killing already? Uh... Oh, uh, fires? Is this the pirates doing? What the heck? What are, why are they burning this whole place? Whoa, look at that Whoa. guy. <gasps> oh, they're just wow. killing them all, so they're taking over this village. Uh, Vikings. Man, these guys are freaking savage, man. That's how Vikings were in history. Poor village. I don't see how these people could live with themselves like that. <laughs> then the guy ate it. He didn't know what it was. You oh, what? The, the mushroom. I think they're talking about the mushroom. Oh, is he going to kill him? There's his chance. Yeah. He's going to kill him. Yeah, go he's for the big go one. <laughs> go for the big sword. Uh, Looks like I there's a, somebody he still next to him missing. It. He can't do it. He's too soft. Remember what his dad said? Use it to only protect, not to kill. Yeah. Yeah. He started sleeping. No. He saw it. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't scared. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I drank too much and they're just piling bodies. So that's like going out to them, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like a Friday night for them. It's a party. Did this guy forget about Thorfinn? <laughs> what do you mean, who's that kid? Why are you challenging him to a duel, you dumb kid? Doesn't care. He wants to kill him, but then he knows the only right way to do it is through a duel. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he learned right. He's not gonna even just draw out his weapon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh no, dude, it's stuck. Got stuck in the wood. Oh. Oh. Dude, you have a better chance using a small sword. Yeah. His little knife than his the big one. The money for Thor's. Damn. Floki wanted to know. He just died gosh. a normal death. He's not going to give Floki that pleasure of uh -uh. hearing how he died. Dude, they literally just give him bones, man. It still has Come some on. meat on it. Oh, he's going to hunt himself. Don't eat the red mushroom. <laughs> don't, oh, no, brown mushroom. Don't go for uh, the red chestnuts? ones, kid. <laughs> you saw what happened. Oh, he's going to try to eat the leftovers here. Oh, yeah. 
Don't worry, this is just the start, Thorfinn. Oh man, they got the news. Uh, well, the difference oh, in the shoot. story, though. Yeah, but but this is the truth. He did die an honorable death. Oh man. She's so what the heck? strong-minded about it. Nah, she'd probably go back and start crying like crazy. Watch. So they know that Thor's fin is missing too. Oh, she already knew that he was gonna die soon anyway, cause you know, just the guy Thor is. Damn, she really acts like this is nothing. Just yeah. another day. Hot damn. Wow. wow. I think so she's like the strong person in... I think the reason she's acting like this is because since all the boys are gone, she's got to be the, next the man. Leader. She has oh, to do yeah. all the men's work. She's you know, taking... she has to do everything. She has to do everything Thor's and Thor's been did. So I think that's one of her way to, you know, I got to stay strong now that they're gone. What are they doing? Dude. What? Holy oh cow, my what is gosh. that, a well? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be the leader of the village. Yeah, the village, not just the house, but the village. Yeah. She's even making the rug. She's doing everything. Yeah, you're right. She has to stay busy. It's affecting her. Yeah, she doesn't want to think about it. She just want to keep herself busy. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Now it's hitting her. <laughs> All of Thor's family is going through a tough time. Oh, the mushroom guy. Kill him. Kill <laughs> this guy getting, at least. He's getting more mushrooms. This guy, you don't need honor. Just go kill this guy. Mm-hmm. He's like a puppy, you know, he's harmless. So that's why they're talking to him. Also, this guy just really don't care if the boy dies or not, huh? No, I oh. guess not. These guys just want to move on. I think from here, they're going to help him. Like father, like son, they said. Uh-oh. Oh, Ooh. shoot, dude, he's going for the attack already. Hot yeah. damn. There's one wolf, man. There's a whole pack. They don't roll alone. He's going on, for man. the That's, little one. Yeah, you see? You gotta get the little one. That's dinner right there. Dang. Yeah. See? Hmm. Kogi. <laughs> it looks like Kogi, too. He killed it. Yeah, he got it right around right his throat. Now he's gonna start using the little sword. Yep. Practice with that one. Ah, oh, not yet. So close. Damn. Yeah, just oh, throw he's it. Doing the throw <laughs> he's gonna learn it. Yeah. He needs to learn how to sharpen it though, too. No, oh, dude, that thing's pretty sharp. Yeah. Look at that. He did it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he got, <laughs> he it. He got, he got the got bunny. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this is a, like a celebration food, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it tastes good. He like, caught it. <laughs> I wonder how rabbit tastes. Have you tried rabbit? No. No. Look at all this stuff that they looted. Oh, Thor he's gonna come back. back for another duel. Challenge you to a duel. Let's see how much he's trained. I think Thorfinn can get a little bit of cut in him this time. At least one cut. That's all he needs. Come on, Thorfinn. Get him. So this is one of the... I thought... Asgala was actually training him, but he's keep coming back to asking for a duel. That's what it was. Here we go. Throw it. <laughs> he's like, oh, this guy's faster. Oh, yeah, you can throw it, right? <laughs> yeah. Come on. That guy's never going to expect that one. <laughs> Look how much energy he has now, though. He's actually enjoying it. It's because he got his protein oh, man. in before he was, like, so hungry. Oh, move. Oh, my God, Thurfin. Throw the knife. Throw it in his face. Here we go. <gasps> oh, oh, he literally threw it in his face. Oh, oh. damn. Oh. <laughs> so close. Is he going to take his dagger? He's giving him another chance. Get stronger. 
telling him to grow up and fight on the battlefield. So he's basically telling him to pay your dues first, get some experience, and then he'll challenge him. Yeah. Between warriors, he just called him a warrior. Oh man, look at Thorfinn. Oh, oh. so looking at Askeladd, I think the more I see his relationship with Thorfinn, I think he has like a soft spot for Thorfinn. Yeah. Right? Or it's growing. Yeah, it's growing for him. I think that that's where he's like gaining the respect from him. You know, he made it on that ship. He survived it. And then even after these couple of days doing things on his own, he survived that. He dueled him instead of trying to kill him in his sleep and doing it cowardly. At first, when he was drinking the wine or something, he was surprised like he was still alive, right? Yeah. And when Thorfinn actually came back and he's just like, oh, this guy's not really a pansy, you know? It's yeah. like, that's why I think at the end, he's like, as a warrior to a warrior, I promise. Warrior. So I think Thor uh, Askeladd is giving the Thorfinn the respect of like, man, this guy, you know, he actually deserves my respect. He, yeah. We didn't feed him. We didn't give him food. We didn't do, you know, we didn't baby him. No. But he survived out on his own. He still wants to do all the right way. He didn't kill me the dirty way or anything. So, no. Askeladd, what I think is we're going to see Askeladd grow into Thorfinn. Yeah, so, growing into him. Yeah, so it's one of those things where it's like you at first you might get a puppy or not puppy. Pu everybody loves puppy, but yeah. you got something and you're just not really liking it at first, but it's starting to grow into. Yeah. And I think that's going to be the relationship between Thorfinn and Askeladd. And the more we see them spend time together, Askeladd is going to end up having this really deep bond with Thorfinn to a point I feel that Askeladd would even go to a point that he would sacrifice his life for Thorfinn. Oh, Don't that's you think saying so? a lot. Yeah. Right? I, I can see that happening. Like, I think the respect is there. It's like, damn, this kid, you know, of course he his blood, you know, Thor's blood runs in Thorfinn. Mm -hmm. But I think he liked the fact that this guy actually really tried. He trained to kill me. <laughs> he He's came back stronger. He came back stronger. He's not a pansy. And no. I think as a Viking and stuff, like, they respect that. And he actually likes it. Askeladd even said that. And uh, who's the guy that ate the mushrooms? He was like, what? Right? Mm -hmm. He's seeing it too or something? He sees it too. He's like, wow, this guy, I found him in the middle of the forest, still alive. <laughs> yeah, it's either that or he's really surprised that Askeladd actually said Thorfinn as a warrior or something, you know? <laughs> that too, or yeah. the fact that he's letting him survive. Survive and give him another chance to come back. Now he's just telling him, okay, I see it. Go pay your dues and come back to me. Almost like a master. Like, you're always like a student trying to learn from the master. Like, please be my mentor. Please be my mentor, right? Yeah. And then finally the master's like, he sees something goes, all right, see me at dawn tomorrow. Or something like that. Something you know? like that, except he's Thor's. Thorfinn is not looking for a mentor. He's no. looking to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he's looking to kill him. Yeah, that's true. But I think... But in a sense, I, I can see what you're saying. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. what's going to probably happen. Yeah, so I kind of see this little relationship kind of bond forming <laughs> between Askeladd and Thorfinn. And besides, if you really look at it, Askeladd is basically the middle man, right? The messenger is just doing it for money. He is doing it for money. And if he didn't do it, he would have gotten killed. So... Either way, he was kind of at a loss. He had to do it. Right. And because I did like the fact that he didn't give Floki the, you know, oh, satisfaction. He, yeah, giving him the satisfaction of, you know, he died an honorable death or, you know, the play-by-play -play of what happened so that he could enjoy it. Instead, he's just like, he just died as normal. I kind of want to be open-minded about Askeladd right now. Me too. Yeah. Also with the sister. The sister. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. She's just doing whatever she can to stay busy and be the leader that the town needs. Um, because her father's dead. Her little brother's gone. It's just her and her mom and they have to oversee their town. She has to stay strong and like, you know, she doesn't want to break. And then her mom gave her that moment to just take that one break. Right. And that's when she cracked. Yeah, that's true. I, yeah, she, I think she wants to show like the weakness, weakness into the village no. and the mom. And finally, when she had like a time to just think, that's when it just blurted out. Yeah, then I knew that was going to come. She, yeah. it, you knew it was going to hit her, you know? It just was like when. <laughs> All right, guys. That was uh, Villain Saga episode number five. Thank you guys for joining Kimchi and Tofu. We'll see you guys tomorrow for more Kuroko and Hunter Hunter.
I know you guys are waiting for that. Thank of you course. for being patient. Mm -hmm. Thank yes. you. We'll see you next time, guys. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.